wall supported leg lifts. They sound easy enough, but there's some serious stabilizing mechanics going on. So let's talk about it. So we are going to come up against a wall with our feet straight forward on those train tracks. Hand is on the wall for support. And we're going to balance with the leg that's closest to the wall. You can bring a little bit of a bend just so you're not locking up through the knee, but we want to stay really engaged to that leg. So squeeze the butt, zip the quad up, stay active through all four corners of the foot. Then we're going to flex the floating leg, the leg furthest from the wall. And we're going to go a little stretch out to the side. Notice how I'm coming right out from my foot. Inhale, lower, exhale up, right out from my stabilizing foot, I should say. So first thing to notice is that I'm staying in line with my stabilizing foot. I'm not coming too far back. I'm not coming too far forward. I'm imagining I'm in between two very tight walls and I'm keeping it within that lift. I'm also thinking of lifting from the knife edge of my foot. So as I lift, I'm not turning my toes to the ceiling. I'm keeping my foot parallel with the floor and that's gonna keep it in the outer thigh. The second I start to turn, it moves into a different part of my leg and I'm only going as high with my leg as I can without dumping into my leg. So I want you to stay super tall the entire time. What that's going to mean for a lot of us is that we probably won't be able to go quite as high as we think because we'll lose range of motion before we start tipping over. But the second we start to tip over, it comes out of that thigh. So really think standing nice and tall, energy from the foot through the top of the head, lifting through that outer foot, keeping the inside foot parallel with the floor, keeping hips even. You can even keep your working legs hand on that hip and that'll give you a really good indication if it starts to lift so that you can rein it back in.